Self-driving cars. You've probably heard of them. They used to be something you'd see in a science fiction movie, but now is the time that they will become reality. Companies like Ford and Tesla already install software on their cars that help you park or follow a highway. Though I think that fully self-driving cars could really change our lives. But what do self-driving cars have to offer, and what are their potential dangers? The concept is simple: make a car that is able to drive by itself. This means the people in the car have no control over it, other than where it will go. Google has been working on such a car over the past few years. The car can detect objects around it and calculate how to drive without any problems. To give you an idea of how well Google's cars can do this, they've driven over one and a half million kilometers autonomously. What impressed me when I first read about these cars is that they hadn't caused any accidents. Though, unfortunately, one of the cars recently hit a bus and was at fault. You might think that this is disappointing, but I don't see it th this way at all. Small accident lo accidents like these are essential for the development of self-driving cars. The difficulty is that the car will often be in si uh, situations it's never been in. Even then. The car has to make the right decisions. It always has to. Firstly, it has to get to its de destination safely, and secondly, it has to make sure that it doesn't break the law. I think that this will be really difficult, and such a system will never be perfect. Though, as a programmer, I would see it as a great challenge. The thing is, even if there's a system that's intelligent enough, there will still be a lot of debate about self-driving cars. For instance, a very important occurrence will be the first person ever killed by a self-driving car. Who is to blame? The engineers that made the car, the people in the car that had no control over it, or the person that was killed. On the other hand, self-driving cars could change our lives in a positive way. They could be used at one point to deliver products. The car will drive to your house, wait until you've obtained your package, and drive to the next person. They could boost productivity because you don't have to spend your time driving. More importantly, people who are unable to drive, like drunk people or elderly people, Can easily be transported. And now, finally, think of all the road accidents that happen every year, every day. Most of those could be prevented by self-driving cars. Let that sink in for a second there. So, in the end. <laughs> There's a long way to go before self-driving cars will work flawlessly without any assistance, but we've already made a lot of progress. If we're there, we'll still have to trust a complicated computer to not kill us. So what we shouldn't forget is that self-driving cars can improve our lives. Not only can they be used for our convenience, they can save lives. <laughs> Over to you. Uh, I'm a bit of a stick in the mud. What would you say to someone who says, "I don't want to lose control"? Well, of course, you, everyone wants to have control. They want want to be safe. Um, but you know, if you're doing your internet banking or doing anything on the internet, most people don't know what's going on. So pretty much anything you do on the internet or te te technology, people don't know what what they're what's actually going on. So internet banking, then, for instance. You, you don't know how they make sure that people don't steal your money, so you're already give, with technology. You're always putting the uh, responsibility and the control in someone else's hands. So 
just don't complain. You're, all, you're, all, you're, already, you're already in the hands of other people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. um, what do you think the effect would be um, if we had all self-driving cars? What would the effect be on traffic jams? Um, well, that would actually be really cool because if they are all self-driving cars and if there's one system that all these cars connect to, they, will, they can communicate to one central server and the one car can go uh, especially other ways so they won't create traffic, uh, traffic jams. And uh, if they're all self-driving cars, computers are then quite predictable and uh, I think will also re really reduce the injuries, that, uh, road injuries, that happen so much everywhere. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cool.